Did the CC try to make you his girlfriend? Yes. <laughs> He's a girlfriend or wife? <laughs> He's his girlfriend. <laughs> Can you welcome? <laughs> yeah, welcome and can you give the video a like? Today's today, guys. Yeah. <laughs> he have failed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he fell actually. I <laughs> what a shame. Yeah, guys, you know I can't be say I don't want any support from somebody without and and ni bila sababu without sababu ni aje. Ota haha. Sababu kusema sababu kwa kizungu ni aje. Without and I don't want any support from somebody without any good cause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I say that. Uh, you know, I'm not a mad person, woman. I, I to say that I don't want any support from you. It's a support to chase that is from condition. Cecil, sorry, no Africa sugar for you. <laughs> Very uh, sick man. He was on trending. How are you? How are you, everybody? I hope you are doing well. So. Anyway, uh, in today's analysis, I mean, it's a very emotional video because of the allegations that have come out or accusations that have come out from Percy. So I'm not trying to say that I am on any side. No, I just want us to talk about the whole situation in general. So according to my last video, we did not know what was this particular thing that Percy meant when he wa she was talking about conditions, 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 you know. Of course, I had told you there is something more into that, but we did not know what is it because there is no mad person that can just come out and be like, I don't want that support. <coughs> Take it away, you know. Of course, all of us were wondering. And at the same time, I told you that there is no way she can also come out and confidently tell us, I don't want Mr. Cecil's support. I mean, thank you, but I don't want it again. Unless uh, she asked somebody that has already come in and assured her that, yeah, you just need to let it go. The other one, I, I will be there for you to support uh, your kids no matter what, you know, and... In this video, actually, we are going to look at her moderator, one of her moderator, whom she has been sharing all these things from the word go. That's what um, I actually told you earlier. There must be somebody that is already there or that has been already there trying to tell her, you know, giving her instructions on what to do when she came out and told this uh, subscriber and moderator, she was actually, or he was, I don't know if it's a he or a she, Tarbo Vanilli, that is, I don't know if it's a he or she, I don't know, but uh, the guy or the person told Percy that all is going to be, well, you just need to let this go. And I think uh, it's actually the same person that has always pushed Percy to come out and talk about this because, you know, we have always seen Percy not wanting to talk about this situation, but it's she has been pushed, you know, to come out and uh, speak. So, my good people, I will also want to analyze um, Mr. Cecil's uh, comment, one which he pinned, where somebody was actually um, addressing congrats mom as a greedy person. And, I mean, it, was, it wasn't like it was a positive... Um, and a, and a positive kind of comment, but uh, he liked it, not really liking it, he actually uh, pinned that comment 
to mean that you agree with it because that is what it normally happens uh, when you pin a comment you have read you have understood and you know so we are assuming that you know they are not in good blood um, with Marwa or that yeah they are not in good terms uh, generally based on this unless it comes out and uh, clarifies because that's how most of us have gotten to understand the whole situation so I will also leave it out for you over here so that you may read and we also get to see the replies under that uh, comment so let us start with Percy on her side of uh, the story <coughs> so for those who are wondering this is ginger so Percy has finally let the cut uh, yeah, she has finally let the cat out of the bag. And what do we mean by that? We have been doing analysis videos and we've never known what is really happening. What does Percy mean when she comes out and talks about these things? Remember, she has been referred to as a very ungrateful person. Somebody that forgets where he, she has come from, you know. And I think uh, Tarbo is the person that really tried to push her to come out and speak about uh, these things so that people may understand the problem at hand, you know. So in her video, her latest live stream, you know, she came out and said, um, you know, the reason as to why she did not want this support from Mr. Cecil is number one, a support with conditions. So most of us did not understand earlier these conditions because, you know, it gave us room to think about so many things. We came out here and said, if it was me, I would have just opted to, you know, sort it out in this and this and that kind of manner. And then when I, watch, uh, when I watched Ginto's video, I had a different perspective. And now she has come out to talk about it like point blank. And we now get a clearer picture on that. So I don't know, should we consider this an allegation or what? Because, you know, uh, she hasn't shown any evidence on that. So I don't know what is your take on that, but we will, I just want us to analyze uh, that live stream. So she said that Mr. Cecil, you know, number one, has been wanting uh, her to send, you know, pictures of uh, some funny, funny uh, places or in this case, body parts, you know. Number two, uh, somebody asked, uh, did Mr. Cecil want you to be uh, her girl, his girlfriend? And she was like, yeah, I don't know even if it's girlfriend or wife. So you see, she's touching on it. But then the person that added... Um, I mean, more conversation on it was this particular person, Tarbo Vanille, and she, uh, he, I don't know why, I don't know if it's a she or a uh, he, <coughs> the guy actually, the person, I don't know guys, you'll forgive me on the he-she thing, I don't know, the person actually, I saw this person in uh, on Trending's channel, and the person was trying to give out all the reason, all the reasons as to why, you know, a uh, person never wanted to come out or probably trying to give an update of what has been happening, clearly showing us they have been in communication with Percy about this situation from the word go, you know. So remember, Percy also in Gintu's video said uh, she had gone to congrats mom to share out, you know, something concerning Mr. Cecil. So I think it was the same thing. And then it never happened because of uh, David Jr. who came out very harsh on her, you know. Anyway, I want us to look at uh, these uh, messages by Tarbo Vanilli because I understand this person has been on the same case uh, with Percy, you know, try to communicate or not to do what not to do, you know. So, okay, 
Let us start to this first message. It only got worse as his trip to Nyabo Anse got closer. So we don't know the level. I mean, we don't know how 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 worse it was because no, like, we don't know what was really happening. Like what was the communication between the two of them during that time? So I mean, we don't really know more. Uh, communication about it but i am just waiting for probably from tomorrow to get to understand like uh how are people going to i mean understand and address Percy? are they still going to call her the ungrateful Percy, or are they going to give a different opinion or agree with her or tell a story, something like that. I don't know up to this point, but I just want us to <coughs> to talk about this. Okay, another message that uh, the person posted, people thought she was ungrateful, but she was just uncomfortable with Cecil, who wanted silence for just some time for him to do some projects and begged sorry and promised no more advances okay so the message is self-explanatory so this guy has been actually the i mean not this guy but um uh tarbo has been in constant communication and uh tarbo is the brain behind you know uh Percy. i mean Percy is taking instructions from <coughs> Terrible. at this point uh, we understand uh, you know so okay I, th I think I did a screenshot um, another message he has been mad about the house project and also wanted to see if she has been given money he wanted to keep her poor to have a chance but was rejected long ago so you want to tell me that um mr cecil was never happy about Percy's project and anyway i don't let us just read i don't know should we really discuss this kind of uh, <laughs> messages because you know now we are hearing from one side of uh, the story but at the same time i think there is a point where okay i, I think it's here so i don't know why uh, mr cecil will be mad about the house project you know i don't know so no uh, i don't know uh, marwa said if I help your kids to go to school, money must not go to pass his phone and press a bat through. Mara, I don't know uh, at what point. I think these were personal conversations, actually. Personal conversations. There is nothing that uh, was public in all this that we are reading. She did not hide this info, but came forward for help. Uh, Okay, she did not hide this info, but came forward for help with Cecil, and I advised to keep record of texts and phone audio. She has all, uh, she has, she has all. So Cecil was afraid of her best behavior if he could just go to school. It only got worse. Okay, I think we've only we've already. So I don't know if I captured all the messages, but. Okay, according to these few messages, um, okay, the relationship between uh, Mr. Cecil and Percy has had already been jeopardized, you know, because I understand um, several months ago she had talked about, you know, people wanting nudes was it even several months but i think three to two months ago she had talked about it people you know wanting to support by you know them wanting uh, nudes something like that you know which is not really appropriate anyway that has brought a lot of confusion in the village in the internet 
I don't know what you think about that. For me, I think at this point, this case, uh, I mean, is done. It has rested, you know, because every day we will come out here and trying to guess, guess, guess without knowing. And at the same time, you know, people were going to say their own things to both parties, you know, and, you know, it was going to be kind of chaotic. So... I also believe that or think, I mean, um, I don't know if um, Mara was aware of all these things because now, I don't know, anyway, let me not speak on that part because I'm not even sure. But when actually Mr. Cecil met uh, Gintu, you know, he had, um, you know, different... He had, a, he had an intention of bringing the village together all i mean all of us know about that right so he met with gintu and then the next moment they traveled to masai mara and then in the video they said that they were going to go to nairobi and then thereafter travels back to america because he has an appointment with the doctor the physician and also he needs to vote <coughs> <coughs> so what's uh, really confusing about all this situation is now the relationship between Marwa and uh, Mr. Cecil because actually there is a video uh, which he posted like two days uh, ago okay it's still one day ago big surprise to him from usa he couldn't believe it so that is a video where he was gifting uh why not keep him medical staffs you know or medical gifts so if you read at a, if you read a comment that has been pinned by the trench town boy himself you know it indicates that all is not well you know so let me read it out for you mr cecil know that you are a man of god with integrity from the beginning of watching your own videos i can see the greed into congrats mom's face and also you already know that gintu has problems with marwa i know you tried to bring peace but marwa doesn't see it like that what a shame mr cecil you shouldn't leave all this behind you should have called someone to help you bring it out and call all the villagers please mr cecil don't feel bad you are a man of good intentions and good heart believe me in you is going to get his payback i am from ga i don't know which country is that you know the same thing is going to happen to jamaican uncle marwa is all about ripping people's off including his family members they are a bunch of hypocrites, idiots, criminals, thieves, crooks. I pray that God send you home safe and sound. Please, if you read my message, please let me know if you made it safe home. That is a comment that has been pinned by um, Mr. Cecil, you know. So, honestly, if you ask me what this means... I can tell you probably they are not in good terms with Marwa at this point and time. We don't know about next week. We don't know about the next time. Maybe they will have ironed out the differences and, you know, probably move on or, you know, retain their friendship back. But anyway, some of you I know will be like um, him meeting again to should have been the last thing to make them, you know, or to put them in this kind of situation and that, you know, Marwa should be understanding and, you know, don't take light, I mean, don't take uh, too serious such things, you know. So we are assuming that it is uh, the meeting between Gintu and Jamai and Mr. Cecil that, you know, has caused all this uh, drift. So... Let us look at the replies from this particular comment. Uh, just stay safe, be careful. The Jamaican guy from UK who was doing some work in Gambia was killed. 
and so sad condolences to his wife and uh, family. I don't know why this would write such a comment. Comrade's mom was not being greedy. She was grateful and thankful because she was being given so many things by Trench Town Boy. So stop uh, spreading lies about her and her family. Leave them alone and mind your business and go and help your people in your community. No wonder black people will always remain at the bottom of the pool. So this person was responding to our first comment the one that i just read okay so trench town boy pinned his comment because what he wrote is nothing but uh, the truth congrats mom and Mara family are greedy people okay how is the family greedy how would you feel if the person you are hosting is dining with your enemy? Marwa has to guard himself. I am happy he's keeping more and more boundaries. Kudos, uh, Marwa. <coughs> <coughs> okay. A comment full of negative energy is being pinned. Okay. Okay. So, you can clearly see. Okay. Yes, a uh, trench town boy pinned the comment because he has seen with his own eyes how wicked. Okay, so those are some of uh, the replies you can go and actually see. And you know what? Okay, okay, L let's look at some of the messages that Mr. Cecil liked. I mean, you can see, you can clearly see love from him, meaning that he agrees with these comments. Let us read them. Just from the reply from this particular message that uh, we read, I mean the comment, one of the message that he liked, I am happy that Mr. Cecil get the opportunity to see what's happening now, not later. He has loved. When people show you who they are, believe them. Enemies of progress, he has loved it. Those villagers have a short memory and tend to forget who has helped them. Kudos, Mr. Cecil. He has loved it, you know. God brought you there. You are intelligent enough to fish all the snakes out. Thank you, sir, for being you. He has loved it. You don't look okay, sir. Please take good care of yourself. Don't let the ungrateful bunch get to your skin. Remain blessed always. He has loved it. We Jamaicans are good people. One love from Jamaica. So he has loved. I'm reading the messages that he has loved. A trench, trench town boy, you are a good person. We are proud of you of, uh, from Kenya, Nairobi. I feel appreciated. Okay, Mr. Cecil, you saw a need and came to assist. Unfortunately, it was not appreciated. Some people, even though they are drowning, won't take the lifesaver when given. You appear to be a man of integrity, character, and have a good heart. No good deed goes, goes unpunished. These villagers have no idea of how much of an opportunity they have missed. Your sudden departure from the villa is telling all the best, my good man. So, <coughs> okay, he has loved. Okay, strange town boy looks sad and is crying. May God comfort you and give you peace of mind. You are a good man. I feel your pain. He has loved it. Okay, do you want to tell me that all is well? Guys, do you want to tell me that all is well? Okay, I can see, I can see all is not well, and let's hope that, you know, uh, everything will be sorted uh, out, you know, that's what I just hope, you know, so uh, let's, okay, so there are several other comments, change town boy, you look sad and sound frustrated, don't give up, so you see, I mean, he's loving these messages that, you know, people are encouraging him and, you know, okay, so all these, they are the same. But anyway, guys, 
we can already see a strained uh, relationship and friends so i don't know what you can say about that honestly speaking just comment down below because you know uh for me i think about you know uh, both of them you know if uh by Mara losing mr cecil then a lot of programs that had been planned for the village you know of course it has ended on the other hand anyway guys what do you think what do you think about uh, this situation honestly speaking just be honest and let's have a conversation let's not keep quiet and try about maybe thinking about our own things you know because i, I also understand some will be like oh so Mara was not wrong to you know end this friendship with mr cecil after Percy came out and you know uh said these kind of stories or issues you know you know it's actually these things are so confusing honestly speaking but i don't know kindly comment uh down below and let's have a conversation on it so until the next video I love you to the moon and back. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell.